We've all been there. You're faced with something that makes your heart sink and your mind hazy. You can't see past whatever is in front of you because it seems insurmountable. You are overwhelmed by the great weight posed by this question. How am I going to make it through this? We have all gone through or are currently going through something that makes us ask this question. The fear because of uncertainty, anxiety and loss gets to us. And as we continue living our lives, it will keep happening. Frightful obstacles show up again and again. How will you face it when it comes? Maybe you try to avoid the problem or run away entirely. Some of you might wait for the inevitable. But ultimately, we want to find the courage and faith to conquer. The problem is, most of us struggle to find the courage to even take the first step to conquering our fears. Where do we find the courage? Where does it come from? Courage is cultivated and culminated in adversity. It is where a person's faith is made manifest through the choices and actions they take. These verses in Joshua and Deuteronomy about courage in the Bible show us something crucial. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. When we are told to be courageous, why is it so often followed up by mentioning God is with us? It is because God is the center of our faith. It is our devotion, belief, relationship, love, and faith in Him that pushes us to courage. For the next 11 weeks, we will be going through the various men and women of faith to help you grow deeper in your own faith. We want you to live a life of cultivating a courageous and conquering faith in Him so that you can step out in every area of your life without fear paralyzing you or holding you back. Are you ready? Show up, tune in, and always look to Him.